So the initial download will produce a uh, piece of paper that looks just like this. It looks pretty simple, and it actually turns out to be something that looks really complex. So the first thing that you need to do, as the directions say, is that you're going to fold it in half along this dark black line. I'm going to go ahead and cut out these circles. I tried to use pretty simple shapes so that they were fairly easy for the students to cut out. Okay, and then you see it has a slit in it, so I'm going to cut that slit as well. Okay, now what's important is the way that these are going to overlap, and uh, since we are creating a Venn diagram, these two pieces right here are actually going to be the two that um, in the Venn diagram show that these areas are the same. So that are, or things that they have in common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color both of these the same color. Notice my coloring skills are a little off, but it's okay. Um, you'll see after it all gets put together, coloring those orange. And then these outside pieces, you can actually choose two different colors. So let me do blue since I have it right here. And of course, you can write or do whatever it is that you need to do for uh, your activity. Let's do a cool purple. Fantastic coloring skills, don't you think? And then all we're going to do is clip these two pieces together. And that's it. On the back piece, I'm going to put some glue. Same thing on the other side. This back piece, I'm going to just put some glue to hold it all together. And then on the very back, see my direction, and we're going to glue that down as well. And there you have it. Now, it looks like a simple Venn diagram. You kind of wonder why did you go through all this trouble. But these are actually flaps that lift up and allow you to write more information about this category and more information about this category. Now, what's even better about this is you can make an additional cut here in the center. And I will tell you, it kind of, you may need to put some tape across the top. But, um, you can actually cut these flaps open. Now, you have to do it after it's been glued. And you have additional space to write on the inside of the foldable. So, you can write on the cover, you know, name your categories. You can write under the purple side. You can write under the blue side. And you can also write on the inside of the orange. So, there it is. I've also created this in two other different shapes, which you'll also get for free. This one you'll see kind of has the points on the stem, but same concept. You can under, uh, write under here, write under here, or write in the middle. And then this one is more boxy with that same idea of being able to write in all of these different places. I hope you enjoy.